Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Yeah, today we're back on the corgis and I'm painting with wood today. Now, if there's anything that I really want to do on this channel is just like inspire people to create their own business with lasers. I think lasers are the best thing ever made. I just enjoy every day getting up and making something new or trying something new. It could be the old thing, just doing it differently. And so if you love lasers and learning about lasers, well, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Now, in my last video, I showed you how to print money with your diode laser, and I made these Corgi, basically Corgi button face uh, coasters, and they sell really well. I have some Yin Yang Kitty coasters also made out of completely out of wood, which fly off the shelves. And, you know, I showed you how to make the, both of those in my last video. Well, you know, I said, I really would rather not paint. I just, I'd rather not work with spray paint if I can help it. And uh, I like the process of working with wood. So I said, hey, well, hey, I could just paint these corgis with wood as well. And so I use all hardwoods. And the two places where I get them, and yeah, on Amazon, but they are, uh, you know, regular businesses. Uh, you can get them straight from their website as well. Craft Closet, which would be my first choice, but their delivery, hey, usually takes about a week. Whereas with Hardwood Edge, which is the other one, they do really well. So, you know, price both of them out, try both of them and see which one works best for you. And of course, there's many other places to get wood. This is just where I get mine, and I'm pretty happy with it. Usually, the hardwood edge, you can get them a bit faster. But just check in, check it, and see what you like to do. And what I'm using is uh, four different types of hardwoods. I'm using paddock, which is absolutely beautiful and catches the attention of everyone that walks by. A lot of times I will make things out of paddock and those won't be the first to sell, but they'll be the one that can get the people to the table. Walnut, maple, cherry, all staples of things that I love to make. And you could just, you know, think of just anything that you're making and see if you couldn't just instead color it by using hardwoods. Now for this, as far as lasers go, I'm going to suggest that you use a 20 watt laser. I just really think, you know, you could do it in one pass, usually 400 millimeters per minute, maybe 300, just depending on how hard the wood is, but it's very consistent when you get your it dialed in. You don't have to worry, did it cut through? You don't have to do two passes, which actually could make a lot more mistakes. So since this is cutting and not engraving, I'm going to suggest a 20 watt laser. Now, if you have a 10, you can do it. And I'm sure something like the Rolly Lasermatic would be just fine doing this over and over again. I happen to like the 20 watt. I'm actually using the 10 watt, um, and that'll be my next video. Again, using the Burn Lab to do some engraving. I'm doing a really big production of coasters, but it's actually faster to do on the 10 watt than the 20. And I'll get into that in the next video. But as far as cutting, I really like the 20 watts that I beat that to death already. Yes. Uh, I'm going to like the third, I guess I have the eights or 36 watt coming. So obviously that's probably going to be my, my go-to choice for these. Right now I'm using the Wizmaker 20 watt and it's, it's handling it beautifully. And I have no complaints. Definitely a laser to check out. I did a review of it my uh, few videos ago. Uh, definitely a very competent laser, and I love the uh, anodized red laser cartridge. So that's kind of fun. So the process, uh, just like when I painted it, you're going to cut it like a puzzle. You're going to Take all the different pieces. So now you're going to cut these in different, you know, depending on how many you want to do, you can go ahead and cut a bunch. But I would first just cut one set and make it, make sure that this is all working well for you. So cut out the hardwoods. I cut out a whole, the whole outside with an MDF because that's what I'm going to glue it onto. 
The only thing that's painted on here is the eyes and the nose. Now I found, and you can see here before I did that, it kind of looks a little cataracty, even with the dark uh, wood. I think black, black is your best bet for the eyes. So, and you, of course you can paint them any way you want. I put a little two white dots on there just to make it fun, but it does look better in my opinion. So let's go outside and I will show you how to finish this up. And uh, that will be that. Yeah, so you can see, I mean, this one turned out beautifully. So I did take a marker paint pen, actually, and I colored the nose and the eyes. Everything else is a natural wood color with just finish over the top. And you can see here I used uh, the same, this is a paddock, but, you know, I also have some purple heart, you know. So if you get all of the different colors of hardwoods, you can mix and match them and, you know, paint with it. You're painting with wood. And you can see this tongue. You know, this was just a piece of paddock that had several different colors in it. So you could pick the parts that are, say, a little bit different color and use those for specific uh, pieces of your painting. I mean, what I'm doing here is so basic that someone can take this technique and create just absolutely gorgeous stuff. So as I showed you in my other video of how to make these and basically printing money. This is, uh, I think, a little higher end version. And of course, you're gonna charge a little more. I mean, this is all hardwoods. So here's basically what I did. I cut, cut out all the pieces, as you can see. Then I cut out a piece of MDF that they all get glued on top of. So, you know, you'd put it together like a puzzle. Now I find that so many of the things that I sell are actually puzzles, uh, just like that. You know, you go to my top sellers uh, of the yin yang kitties or, you know, other things that I make. A lot of them are just puzzles that I, I cut out in pieces. I glue back together on top of MDF and that really adds a level of fun to it all. But as you can see, this is totally put together. You see, it doesn't look anything like this one. Because what I'm going to do is glue it down. And then I'm going to take my sander and I'm going to sand this down real good. And then I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to give it a good coat. Now, you could use so many different kinds. I mean, I really like lacquer, uh, brush on lacquer. But the spray lacquer will work just fine, especially if you're, you know, in a hurry. Uh, matte clear, pretty much anything will work. It's just up to your preference, how many coats you want to do, how long you want to wait, etc. And, you know, the nicer finish that you do, maybe the more money you get. Uh, uh, poly, probably best for coasters, just because it does hold up better. So, like, a polyurethane may take you a little longer, but then, you, you know, it's going to hold up better over time. So, that's something to think about. But I think they turn out absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you a picture of this one finished when we're done. And I think, you know, a good 20 watt laser is great for this sort of thing. Uh, I kind of would advise against a 10 watt laser when you're wanting to do this stuff, this particular kind of work. You're just going to have to do several passes in a lot of cases to work with hardwoods. And, you know, the more passes you do, the more things you do, the more likelihood you're going to ruin your wood. And that gets expensive, and you might as well just have a better laser that's going to do it better. For engraving, sure, a 10 watt, uh, you know, can do a fine, actually even better job. And in some cases, you know, with leather, it might be more better to have a 10 watt. But in this particular case, you know, this this Wizmaker, this is a brand new one, worked super well. Um, I have no issues with that for making this sort of thing. Uh, you know, you got an eight, sir, you got a X tool, whatever, 20 watt, 35 watt. I'm sure it's going to be perfect. So let me know what else you want to see, want to see. And, you know, if there's something else I could show you or you have questions on this and uh, let me know what kind of laser you're using and if it's working perfect for this sort of thing. Or if you may, if you paint with wood and you've got something way better that you can show, I'd love to see it. I'll, you know, probably post it, post it up on my Facebook or something. Oh, and uh, I have a link for the WizMaker in the description. It's not a, an affiliate link or anything. I don't get anything from it. I just, I think it's a good machine and uh, definitely want to pass that along.
So if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.